Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jan Diziel and today I'm showing you how to sew the front corner of the jacket. You know when you have an opening, this front corner with the lining and stay with me until the end because I'm going to show you two different techniques. One very simple and the other one a little more tailored. To do this assembling of that corner today, this is the sample that you'll get. So there's three pieces. The main piece, that would be the bodice. You have the facing and you have a lining piece. These pattern pieces are free in my Wix site, so I suggest you go print them out. As you're going to see, I wrote right side up, so it has to be cut right side up. If you do have leftover of a print fabric only on one side, it would be really good to use it for the main piece and the facing. The lining is usually pretty much the same thing on both sides, so it doesn't really matter. If you use a print fabric, you'll know right away where is your right side, so it's much easier for you. And I suggest you cut a few layers so you could practice your corner a few times. This way you'll be sure you learn it good. Now to show you the assembling of that corner, I decide to use three different fabrics so it will be easier for you to know which are the pieces that you have to assemble. And I suggest that you take little notes, even right on the sample, write down your steps. Your first step should be an easy one. It's going to be the pressing. We'll press the hem of the main piece, so just over here. And we'll press the hem of the lining. When your hem are pressed, we're going to do the first seam. We'll put the facing with the self or the main piece. If you follow my notch that I put on this sample, you'll see right away what to put together. Right side with right side, facing with the main piece. And you're going to sew all the way down. You will see that right after, I'm going to flip the facing, keeping the seam allowance in the direction of the facing. And I will do my little understitch at a few millimeter or one sixteen of an inch. When your facing is sewn to the main piece, that's what you get with the understitch seam allowance towards the facing. Now for the third step, we're going to assemble the lining with the facing on the other side. You also have reference notches at the bottom, so you're going to sew face to face, top to the bottom. Here my seam allowance are one centimeter or three eighth of an inch. Once it's sewn, you're going to flip it and press both sides. Now that your three pieces are together and you press them, maybe you notice that over here, when I did my pressing, I remove a little bit the pleat of the lining and it's okay like that, you should do the same. So now we have the outside and we have the inside that is facing and lining. So you're going to fold on the first seam we did, very tight here. So we have the inside facing the outside. And on a machine, you're going to sew with your normal seam allowance, so 3 8 or 1 centimeter. You're going to start sewing from this side. You sew for, let's say, 3 centimeter or an inch, an inch and a half. Then you put the needle down and you place your center front area. You fold exactly on the first seam and you're going to place the facing even with the main piece, so just like that. Now you're going to sew. You see your lining goes in diagonal. You're going to sew like that, continuing your seam, just like that, until the seam that where we had touched the lining with the facing. So you sewed until there, and then you sew the Facing area straight align with the main piece, so just like that. This is your fourth and last seam. Now 
Once your seam is done, we just have to turn it and it's finished. If you remember, the seam allowance was going towards the facing. For the bottom seam that we just did, we do the same. So flip it towards the facing and hold it. Then use the thickness to push it out. This way you always have nice corner. Voila. The last thing you have to do is a little final pressing, just this middle part where you still have the straight line, but the seam was in diagonal. So you just press this little middle part and you have here the pleat ease in the length of the lining that is going gradually to knotting at the facing area. If you want to see your four steps separately, I suggest you cut four samples just like I did and it's very easy to refer. First step, just the pressing of the self and the lining. Step two, sewing the facing to the main piece and understitch on the facing. Step three, I sewed my lining to the facing. And the step four, we did the bottom seam. Now what I suggest is that you go into your wardrobe and you take a look at the finishing of your coat and your jacket, even the one for men's. Take a look at the corner, front corner finishing. You will see that better quality is the garment, more chance you have to find this square finish. The less quality garment will have this finishing. The first one that I show you that I call the easy corner. For this sample, a little more tailored corner, we'll use exactly the same pattern, but this time if you want to do it step by step, I suggest that you cut six layer because there is six steps. The first step, just like we did for the other sample, is going to be to press the hem of the self fabric and the hem for the lining. The second step, just like we did also for the first sample, we're going to place the facing good side with good side with the cell for the main piece. We're going to sew from top to bottom. Then you're going to flip the facing and understitch on the facing, grabbing the seam allowance. The third step is also very similar, but there's a little difference. We're going to place the lining over the facing right side with right side, just like that. We're going to sew from the top towards the bottom, but this time we're going to stop at the M notch, exactly at the fold line. So we'll sew until there with a back tuck. So when your seam is done, you could press and press just like we did, except this time don't undo the pressing of the lining. Keep it like that. Now what we'll do is we'll place the inside lining and facing over the self for the main piece. Again, you do the corner pretty tight and we're going to sew this bottom part folding the seam allowance. So one centimeter or three eighth of an inch towards the center front. So just like that. And you're sewing at your normal seam allowance, one centimeter here or three eighths of an inch. Now you could see my step four. The seam allowance is just turned towards the facing or the center front. And for my step five, I'm going to sew the bottom of the lining with the bottom of the self fabric or the main piece. These two should be exactly the same length. Now you could see that my hem of the lining and the self or the main piece are sewn together. 
we're ready to do the tiny last seam, so the sixth one. And to do it, we must turn it on the good side. Put your end inside, and again for the corner, flip the seam allowance in the same direction as the other. Hold the corner and use the thickness to push it out. Usually, you should have a perfect corner. It looks finished, but we still have that tiny little last seam to do. So now it's time to press the facing in the last or final position. For now, I'm just going to pin it. And the last seam will be to close this part here, where it's still open. And to do it, just make sure everything is at the final position, like that, it's flat. You're going to go inside or between the two layers, hold that area. And you have the choice for a really tailored jacket. Sometimes they sew it by hand with invisible point. But today I'm showing you how to do it on the machine, so I will do a tiny little stitch from the hem of the garment to the M of the lining, but just the inside of the garment, this place here. Like that. Once it's done, this is what you get. Today I use a contrasting thread, but it was only for you to see better. Usually you would match the same color thread so nothing shows. You could see it's only the inside. It doesn't affect or touch the outside of the garment. So you did it. This is the front corner for tailor jacket. I'm just going to rapidly uh, repeat the six steps for the corner. First step, pressing the hem of the self and the lining. For the second step, we assemble the facing with the main piece and we do the understitch. Step three, we assemble the lining to the facing, but we stop at the fold line. The step four, we sew the bottom of the facing with the self or main piece. What's important is that you fold the little seam allowance on the lining side. So this one here, fold in. For the fifth step, we assemble the hem of the lining with the hem of the main piece, so this seam, Finally, the sixth and final seam, it's to close the tiny little opening that we have at the bottom, at the intersection of my three piece. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to share my video and I see you next time.